Okay, if any of y'all checked out my community tab last night, you, you see why my video was late. I mean, y'all, it's crazy. Um, I'm just rehauling this entire, yeah, these two rooms, and I've got an absolute mess behind me, and, um, I had to, couldn't find some of the stuff to the one DIY, but I just needed to have time to voice over and edit, and I just did it. I just crashed every night, but anyway, I hope y'all enjoy everything in this video. Sorry it's late, and, um, I should be on cue for next Sunday, and hopefully nothing goes wrong, but anyway, um, hi! And, um, okay, let's get on with the video. Okay, y'all, right here, I just got one of those plates from the Dollar Tree. And look at that little ball. I was like, that's cute. That's different. And it's just one of those little bowls with the, um, white lid. It's just mine was missing lid, and I didn't know it. But I thought, ooh, something new. Anyway, it's not. But anyway, I'm just going to remove the tag with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And then just wipe it off real good. And then I'm going to take way too much, um, fix off. Thanks, Rose. From the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna glue my plate to my bow. And then I did let it dry for 48 hours and wipe off the excess. But, and excuse me, I try to make sure it's center as possible. And then I put some weight on it and then let it set. And so, anyway, when it dried, I took um, celery chalk paint by Waverly and I painted the entire thing. And then look what I found at the Dollar Tree. I never find cool stuff, but I found it. So I'm going to try to remove my tag without having to use my heat gun because I didn't want sticky residue left behind. Because I'm going to, like, heavily distress it um, front and back in case it's seen from both sides. And um, I'm just using a regular brush, and I'm really like, yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> there, that's what I'm doing, if y'all can see. I don't know how to explain it. But I kind of like that backside really well better. But I didn't use it. I used the front. So, anyway, um, on my Cricut, I cut out Easter blessings. And then, um, I did put my Pudge over it because my E and my B was very, like, flimsy. But normally, I don't cover my, um, my vinyl. But I did. I put my Pudge all over the entire bunny rabbit. And then, I'm going to take just some hot glue. And I'm just going to tack him down there. Because I was afraid he would fall over. But, and then I take that green and white pit berry and, and some lamb's ear. And I'm going to wrap it around him like I'm doing a wreath. I just bent my stems there and I'm just going to go all the way around him. And then I'm going to take some solar wood flowers that are rose. And, um, I'm going to place them in there where I like it. And if I saw any, like, leaves that wasn't going or blending, it was all sporadic. I did just cut them out. I just cut them off. And here it is, y'all. That was quick and easy, and it's actually beautiful. I think so. Oh, I forgot the rose, or not the rose, the bow. I did make that bow for his neck, and I forgot to add that in because I do that from time to time. But, and then you tie a pretty bow and put it around his neck, or might get a girl and put it in her hair. And that's a beautiful piece to set out for Easter. Okay, y'all, I'm going to take three terracotta pots from the Dollar Tree. That one I'm going to repurpose. I'm going to paint one orange, one yellow, and one white. And I'm going to take these two palettes, and I'm going to take wood glue and hot glue, and I'm going to glue them together. <clears throat> mm. And then I got two little eggs, two little hearts, and two bigger hearts, and those all come from the Dollar Tree. And then with my bigger heart, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to give it, like, Four go abouts with the, um, my knife. And if you put harder pressure, you could probably cut it with two strokes. Two strokes? I don't, don't listen to me, y'all. And then with my little hearts, I'm just gonna lay my blade down and just push it real hard and just take the humps off of my heart. I don't know what they're called. Do y'all know? No, nobody knows, do they? If y'all know, then y'all's amazing. Um, my humps, my humps. Anyway, and I'm gonna sand them down really well. And then I'm going to take my two bigger heart pieces and I'm going to um, just lay them one on top of the other and sand them up to get them as even as I can. I'm sure y'all know what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to paint those orange and these white. And then um, I'm going to take my orange. I know it just looks like regular terracotta. Terracotta pot. And this is the wrong brush. You need a stiffer brush or a toothbrush. An old toothbrush is very good. But I took the end of one paintbrush and then that other paintbrush. And I made some speckles on my that one. But I stuck my thumb there and made a big brown blob. But anyway. 
I digress. I got those from the Hobby Lobby. They're called show-offs. They're just little teeny tiny daubers. And I'm just going to take my uh, ballet slipper pink. And I'm going to make y'all see what I'm doing. Um, Yeah, three little toe pads. And then um, I just use that same dauber and make a heel pad for my little bunny feet. Now, and then with my bunny ears, I take an angle brush and I paint the inside of my bunny ears with that ballet slipper, and then I just clean it up with white paint. Now, I've seen people do the little chick chickadee thing with the hearts, y'all, but I've never seen the little bunny ears and feet thing. No, I think it's just too cute. But anyway, I'm going to take, and um, I'm going to hot glue one part of my, um, those, my small hearts, one to another in the back, and I'm going to leave it open. Um, like my little chickadee's mouth is open. Because <laughs> it's like me, my mouth's always open. It's always going. And I'm going to hot glue it to his face. These are adorable, you guys. I hope y'all love them. But, um, and then I'm just going to take and hot glue his little body to his little feet there. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I haven't seen Brenda's video yet, but she showed me the little chickadee she made. And that thing is just too cute with the feathers. Oh, my gosh. I needed feathers. But anyway, I'm going to take my small eggs and I'm going to hot glue them to um, the front of the terracotta pot here. And make sure it can sit down flat. I didn't at first. And I was like, oh, no. But it worked out. I got lucky. And then I take a little heart and I paint it pink with the ballet slipper. Now... Um, oh, and then I take coffee stir sticks, and I hot glue them to the back of my bunny ears, and I go ahead and paint them white, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, I take uh, three different color strings here, it's like a hot pink, a regular, like, light pink, and a white, and I'm just gonna cut them off to make my little whiskers, but what I do is I take my hot glue gun, and I finagle my whiskers to go the way I want them to go, other than just gluing them on and them, like, flopping down and being straight or whatever. Because I want them to be all, like, crazy, you know, and make it look like my hair does. But, um, and then I'm going to hot glue it on. Now, first, I uh, hot glue it upside down. Don't do that. Glue your heart up right side up. And then I'm just going to trim them down. And then I just take a um, marker here, because my Sharpie was out of ink out of ink, and um, I'm going to make some little eyes with some little eyelashes, and then <clears throat> I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush and put some little white dots in their eyes, and then I'm going to take a skewer because I'm extra, and I'm going to put little white dots in their eyes. I gave him two little dots, and I gave her like three little dots, you know, because again, I'm extra. <laughs> And then, what am I doing here, guys? Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm still doing the dots. Oh, oh, and then I just take some styrofoam. This is just styrofoam that is random. And I just had it hanging around. It's just extra, and I just want to get rid of it. So, I hot glued it all together and hot glued it down in my little pot. And I'm taking boxwood here. And I left it really, really long because I want it to be all, like, high and crazy looking and all just, like, cute, you know. <clears throat> so, excuse me, I put the boxwood in my carrot, and then I take that heather pick from Walmart, and I'm just poking holes, so I have some, it's just easier to get your, yeah, down in there, and I do the same thing, I make it real hot and crazy, and then I take um, that sedum pick, and I put that in her hair with her little bunny ears, and I take two little tiny uh, white peonies, and I put them in there too, you guys. And, oh my, well, I wanted y'all to see how to do that. I take some of this moss. I don't know what kind it is. Y'all have had it forever. It came from Joann's. And some reindeer moss. And I mix them together. And I'm going to stuff them really, really tight in my pot. Because I want that those flowers to be like really almost straight up. And then I have a bucket of bows, you guys, and I just grabbed these out of it, and I hot glued that one to her hair and that one to his neck. And, oh, my gosh, I'm so thirsty. I'm always thirsty. I take a little pink button, and a little button that's a flower is so cute, and I cut the end off of it, and I hot glue that to her other button. Yeah, look at it. Aww. And then I take a little, um, oh, no, I make a double loop finger bow. It's that carrot burlapish like, ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I let the tails really long, you guys. That that ribbon's really cute. Mm. And then 
I glue a little orange um, heart to his bow and a green button to the carrot bow, but I also hot glue a little ladybug inside of it. Oh, it's precious. Oh, my, my precious. Anyway, and then I take and, <coughs> excuse me, well, play with that for a minute. And then I'm going to take and put them on my, <coughs> excuse me, palette, you guys. I'm so sorry. And that's it, you guys. They're done. And they're just too cute. Oh, my goodness. I set some little eggs in between them. Are these the cutest ones? Oh. <laughs> I know. Oh, well. Anyway. Somebody might not like them, but I'm just like, then they don't like cute, because that is cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Honey came home, and he's up there river dancing. So, yeah, I I, uh, I really, really wanted y'all to see these. Yep. Oh, my. And then I'm going to make you dizzy, like going back and forth and zooming in and out. Yep. Okay, now. You get four of those from Hobby Lobby for $3.99, and I got them 40% off, and I'm like, may as well get them, because I was like, oh, I don't know, $3.99, oh, but again, I got 40% off, and if I saw them at the Dollar Tree, I'd buy at least four of them, you know what I mean? So I'm like, it's a better deal. But I'm going to take 18 millimeter beads and 22 millimeter, millimeter, millimeter beads. And I'm going to hot glue them to the bottom of my little round things there. I did send them down real good with Aileen's Tacky Glue, not hot glue. And I squirt Aileen's Tacky Glue down inside of my hose. Oh, excuse me. And I take a paintbrush and go around it to um, clean up the glue. But also, it just helps make them stick better. Smearing that glue all around. And I'm going to take these two candlesticks from the Dollar Tree. You guys, these are gorgeous and they're the same size <clears throat> but i'm going to take way too much again don't use this much it takes longer to dry fix all from the dollar tree thanks rose rose sent me the fix all you guys for some y'all knew don't know yeah anyway she sent me like 80 tubes of it bless her heart because i couldn't find any she's so sweet but anyway i'm gonna sand it all down real good after it dries i let it dry overnight and sand every inch of it <clears throat> And then I'm going to make, yeah, make sure you wipe it off real good, y'all. You don't want that mess stuck in your paint. And then those beads came from Miss Danny Steinmeier. And um, I'm going to put them around. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, there, right there. Y'all see it? This one. Um, and then I put it around like where I glued it to the thing. But then I also put it like up, like on what would be the bottom of the, where the candle goes part. I tried to show y'all. I tried to zoom in and show you where I put these things because it was just too hard for me to explain it. But y'all see. And yeah, see, I put it on that level too, right there. See? Yeah. And then I paint them entirely. Every inside, upside, the underneath the pole the entire thing with truffle chalk paint by Waverly. And then I'm going to take plaster chalk paint by Waverly. I need to buy some paint, you guys. It's just a matter of getting to it and get it done. And I'm going to um heavily, heavily distress my, um, those things. And, <clears throat> yeah, even the top, isn't that pretty? All that texture. Oh. And then I'm going to take red and white, no, white and green pit berries and red and orange pit berries. And there was a skew number to both of them. But I'm not going to put as much red and orange. I'm going to attach the red and orange to the white and green. Oh, my goodness. But I'm just going to wrap it around to get the approximate size. Actually, I want it a little bit bigger because I want it to hang in, hanging. I want it to hang in. I want it to be hanging down and looking messy. Because I've never seen um, um, one not messy. But. Anyway, so, yeah, just see what I'm doing there. Wrap it, and then I'm going to, um, there we go. Set them on top there. And then um, I'm going to take that moss again I told you about, that reindeer moss and Spanish moss. And I just tear it all up in there and get it all together. And then if you grab it and, like, kind of, yeah, form it, roll it around, like, get it all stuck together. Yeah, I'm just adding some more Spanish moss to make it fuller. Wrap it around there and then, like, twist it inside itself. You make your cute little bird's nest. And, yeah. And I'm just going to take and hot glue the pit berries down in them. And then leave enough, squirt more hot glue down in there to glue 
my nest down in there too. That was a lot of words, you guys. And then, oh, and I'm way ahead of myself. Yeah. And then I just take stuff that's left over there on the table and just put it down inside of my nest. Yeah. And then I'm going to take um, this um, Gorilla. Ooh, I may have, you may have missed it. But I took Gorilla Adhesive Spray. <clears throat> and I sprayed. No, here I go. I was just forming my nest. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that uh, heavy-duty adhesive spray, and I'm going to spray my nest down. And um, that way, it won't fall out as bad and be all over the place, making an absolute disaster. But, um, and then, this is from Rose Turner, too. I'm going to take this eucalyptus. I'm going to cut it in half because it was too long. It's wired. It was too long to leave, like, up. And I'm going to hot glue them down and wrap them around my little poles just a little bit <clears throat> to go about halfway up. And then whew, I'm going to hot glue uh, that um, lavender from the Walmart to my base also. And then I'm going to put three little eggs in one nest and a birdie in the other. And then I'm going to take that pretty lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and make two finger bows. And I'm going to hot glue them to the top. You know where that um, candle holder, uh, I don't know how to tell you. It's on, going to be on the pole, but right under where y'all will see. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you guys, these are beautiful. I love them. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I know the angle was terrible. I'll get better. I'm doing a whole new setup, you guys. And look at them. Oh, my gosh. I think they're so pretty. Uh, <laughs> mm. Do you all think they're pretty? Oh, I think they're pretty. That could be farmhouse, shabby chic, cottage core, you know. You could do it. <clears throat> it would actually go for all three. But, yes, they're beautiful. Okay. Right here, I'm going to take one of those mason jars from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to pop the top off. And um, I'm not going to remove the paper, believe it or not, you guys. But I'm going to um, sand the edge down real good to get that excess paper off and remove that glitter because the glue don't won't, it won't want to stick to that glitter. But I'm going to take that metallic rose gold paint and I'm going to paint the sides originally. But this just, I ended up going a completely different direction. And I'm going to take one of those, I don't know what I had circled there. Oh, that was for something else. Good gravy. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, one of those uh, wall tiles from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to lay it down and take my knife and just cut around it. Yeah, it's just going to be easier that way than to trace it and cut it and da-da-da. And it worked out pretty good. I only had one little piece that stuck, and I just took my scissors and snip-snip. And then we're going to stick it to our mason jar. And then I'm going to take it off and put it back down because I got it crooked. So make sure y'all do that. And then I'm going to sand around the edges and make sure I get all the excess off because I want it, you know, to be nice and pretty. And then I'm going to, um, first I started, like, distressing it a little bit. And then I'm like, mm, I don't know. And then I went ham. So I painted it. That's what I did. Um, but anyway, I don't know why I showed y'all that. But, oh, and... Yes, make sure you paint your sides, too. But then I took a wet wipe, and I started going around it, like, distressing it some. The only reason I showed you this is I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So I took my Waverly Antique Wax, and, yes, I distressed it that way. And I just went ahead and painted the back with the Waverly Antique Wax. I did the Mr. Miyagi Wax on Wax Off, you know. And then I take one of those little wooden eggs from the Dollar Tree, and I do trace it out with the shoulder pee. And, um, that is muslin fabric I'm using there. And then I'm going to uh, trace it out on burlap fabric also. And I'm going to cut the burlap fabric right underneath the line that I traced on. <laughs> I don't want it to fully cover my egg. And then, um, I'm going to hot glue it on. And then I'm going to take my muslin Muslin, you guys, I, yeah, and I'm going to fold it, <clears throat> and I'm going to cut it um, a good bit, not a good bit, I'm going to cut it a little bit, like, smaller, 
Yeah, because I want all three to show. And then I'm going to uh, fringe out the ends on the both fabrics, on the burlap and that muslin. And then I'm going to take Beacon Fabric Tack Glue. Um, thanks, Wanda. Wanda sent me that. And then I'm going to take... <laughs> Rose sent me this... <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Tim Holtz stain, sorry, and I just stressed my egg, and I'm going to take that beautiful lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree that Wanda sent me, and um, I'm going to glue it around the top and the bottom of my egg, and then I take that bunny rabbit, uh, the tall one that I cut in half that I put on my candles, and I'm going to hot glue him on there. Yeah, so cute. And then I'm going to take and put uh, that extra piece of burlap on the top of my thing and then i'm going to take a piece of that lace ribbon again and i'm going to lay it like lower on like overlap it there yeah for my lid like part and i just use the beacons on that but i use the hot glue on the burlap i think and anyway i just cut it off flush because i might want to use the back side for something else you know and so anyway i know anyway anyway um, I'm going to keep trimming it and showing y'all that I'm trimming it. And then I hot glue my little egg to the center of my sign. And then I just take and make a little tiny, um, late. No, I take that burlap and that muslin and that lace ribbon. And I make me a little teeny tiny, like messy bow, you guys. <laughs> I know. And it's small and it, and it, 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 yeah, it's not. Yeah. But I just take a piece of, oh, I just used that piece of uh, muslin I had left over and tied it in the middle. And then I'm just going to trim it up and I'm going to hot glue it to the upper. There you go, right there. And um, that's it for this one, you guys. Oh, I glued a little jute bow around his neck. I'm sorry. And it is so cute. Well, apparently I'm doing something else. I don't know. Oh, I think I did a double. <laughs> oh, you guys are like liar. Uh, yeah, uh, Double loop finger bow or triple loop finger bow. I can't remember it. And that is it for him. And isn't that so cute? It was so easy to you guys. It, I mean, it just... These are easy ones, I think. Um, but they're so pretty. I really, really like them. I do. And then, this one could have went way better. This one went crazy. But when I have something like it's got something on it like that... I know it made no sense... I will bend my sign a little bit and just kind of loosen that glue and then pop it off. But the same thing, you guys, I'm not removing the paper. I'm just sanding around the edge, sanding it real good. And, um, yeah, like I did pick some of it, <clears throat> but I had no intentions of removing it. And then I go ahead and make a lark's head knot with some jute here. You guys, I got this so crooked. I was so disappointed because it could have been so cute. And I messed it up because, yeah, I'm a mess. But, and I went to totally different right on this one too that I was going to but I'm taking some of that farmhouse uh fabric from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna start putting different strips because I have these strips laying around and I used that one because I was going to do Easter uh, egg but I end up changing my mind and that's when I'm like oh man you can see through it so I did give it a coat of plaster so I would paint mine ahead of time you guys and then I take that uh uh gingham See how crooked? That's where I went wrong. Everything went downhill or uphill, so whichever way you want to look at it. And a piece of muslin, and I um, I used my Beacon's fabric tack glue, and I glue all this fabric on. And they're in like um three, two, and one inch strips. But yeah, I went really, yeah, crazy here. And then I put some burlap down. I, this could have been adorable. And then I'm gonna take that uh, gingham fabric there, and it's about two inches. And I go ahead and put it down. Just different fabrics that you want. And then I use that Dollar Tree uh, ribbon there. And that's a drop cloth. And then that's wee little tiny gingham uh, material, you guys. I mean, it is small. And I just put all of them down through there. And then I was like, oh, I wanted to use that, like, ticking stripe one, like, from the Dollar Tree. So I just added it in between my burlap. Um, yeah. I think, no, between the burlap and the muslin. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah, it, oh, it's so crooked. I'm so disappointed. I need to redo it or fix it somehow. But anyway, you guys, um, and then I take this chicken from the Walmart, and I give it, um, no, I'm lying. Puh. I take uh, four tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree, and I take super glue and glue them together all in a row. 
And then I take six of the lower uh, Jenga game from the five below, and um, but I only glued two two sets of three sets of two. Oi, <sighs> y'all see. And I take lightweight spackle and I put it almost all over all my blocks because they have ridges in them and I wanted to fill them in. I didn't want them to be all bumpy. And then I sand it down really, 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 really well. And after you do that, make sure you wipe them off, you guys, with the wet wipes so you can get all that dust and stuff off of them. And then I paint them all with um, uh, plaster by Waverly. And that chicken I got from the Walmart for 99 cents. And I gave him three coats of chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree. I've had it forever. But I always go like uh, vertical, horizontal, vertical, or, you know, I like to make sure all my cracks are filled. Yeah, see, I want to make sure that I get it completely coated and it doesn't like, after all the erasing and stuff like that, it doesn't go anywhere. But anyway, I didn't want to show you all the painting, but apparently I showed you an awful lot of it and that's just too much. But so... Uh, I digress. And then I'm going to season it with a piece of chalk. And I like to do this twice, you guys, only because I just want to make sure when I write on it, I'm going to be able to erase it. And that's why you season it. Um, because you know how you get a new chalkboard and you write on it and then whatever you wrote stuck forever? Yeah. And on my Cricut, I cut out days until, but I lost it. And then I just guessed how many days it was until. But um, I'm going to cut it out and add it to it. But uh, I take my... <laughs> My small Jenga blocks, and I glue them to my side, and then I take Aileen's and hot glue, and I glue my rooster down, and then, I don't know what I do. Oh, on my Cricut, I cut out um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Independence Day, Birthday, um, Valentine's Day, and Easter, and I just put one on each side. And that way you can put it on your little sign for whatever holidays or a grandkids or a kid's birthday or, a, you know, sibling, whatever you you so choose. But anyway, and then I, I wanted something you could use year round. I take some limbs here and I glue it to the top of my sign and I take this um, ticking strap ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think. And I'm just going to do the awareness uh, bow, just take my ribbon. I like that after I do the awareness bow, I fold it in half and make the ends meet to make sure my loops are the same size, you know. And just take some jute and, and tie it in the middle, and I'm going to dovetail the um the those things. And then we're going to hot glue it down, of course. And then... That's it for that one. Oh, no, I tie a knot in the hanger. It, it, that's it for now. No, it ain't. Anyway, and, um, yeah, and this is really cute. I mean, like I said, I wish it wasn't crooked, but it's so cute and something to keep up year round. And if you wanted, you could use uh, two sets of those big uh, tumbling blocks from the five below, and you can keep all your pieces on there. But here's everything, you guys, just a final recap. And I pray y'all have a blessed week, and I love y'all dearly, and I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm so, so sorry again that my video is late. I'm trying to make sure I get them out on Sunday. Um, just, yeah, really busy, and I will show you my room uh, when it's done. I'm really excited about it, but I hope you guys like everything. That thing right there just too, too cute, I think. I'm like... Oh, my. And then I showed it all to you. And that, that to me, is so pretty. And that could be either way. Shabby Chic, um, Farmhouse, or um, Cottage Core. So, yeah. And that one, that one's simple, you guys. Uh, I'm sorry that I deleted the bow, but, you know, that's how I roll it. Yeah. So, yeah. Look, see, it's not, it's not the worst, but it's crooked and it's driving me crazy. Maybe I can just put fabric, more fabric over top of it. Because I have a bunch of torn fabric, you guys. But, okay, I love you. Bye! Okay, you guys, I know it's a mess. If some of y'all saw my community post last night. Anyway. So, um, Miss Danny Steinmeier sent me two more boxes. You guys are absolutely spoiling me. And I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Um, with the gifts and the, the, the money, oh my gosh, I just, y'all blow my mind, and it is so much appreciated, it, it truly, truly is, and 
I just, I, I mean it. And I know you guys get sick of hearing it, but I just, I really, really mean it. It just means so much to me. It does. And, um, I'm going to show you what Danny sent me. And anyway, and y'all know I love these things. Danny, oh, woman. Anyway, these giant, um, yeah, craft sticks from, uh, Walmart. I use the crap out of those. The crap, I shouldn't say that, but I do. And then, she, <laughs> these. She sent me three. I, I used one already last week on my spoon bunny, or my mouse bunny. Sorry, I run your sign, Danny. And look how cute these are. From Hobby Lobby, little acorns. Well, oh, anyway, and these, oh, I love these. Look, oh, little mittens. Oh, la, 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 la. I love those. And then, oh, there's some uh, more napkins, you guys, and some of them. I know, this table being lower, it's me setting up a lower table like I did when I first started my channel. Jesse didn't know that. Now, y'all's gonna see a lot more of her. And Abby, too, probably. But look at these. These are cool. These are, they're textured. They're almost like, um, almost like my floor. Uh, that's what it, uh, look at that. There's two of them. Those are nice. Yeah, they are. Huh. And I don't know where they came from. Again, Danny's the one that y'all was like, want to know where those Valentine's napkins are. And I try to get a hold of her, but I don't think she loves me. No, I'm joking, Danny. She definitely does. But, um, Yeah. And I haven't moved your calendars out yet, but I will. I promise I will. Uh, I, I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, look at these. You know, I've never used these wooden ones before. There's three of them, y'all. Look at that. Ah, uh, see, I'm so spoiled. I'm so spoiled. And, y'all. Look, from Walmart, I always use this stuff. I mean, I go through this stuff like toilet paper. I mean, I don't use this as toilet paper, but you know what I mean? Ooh, that would burn, wouldn't it? Talk about wedgie. Anyway, and look here, skewers. You guys, I use, the, I use them too, a lot. You, so amazing. It's just so amazing. It is. And then, this is really cool. And it's like, it's like the, um... The sign you get at the Dollar Tree. I don't think this came from the Dollar Tree. Because, yeah, this, this, it's got this, yeah. But look at that. Isn't that nice? Right? I know. Yeah. Danny finds cool stuff. And this is so cute, y'all. This will go with, um, my, um, crazy gnome box. <laughs> look how cute that is. Ah, oh, look at that snowman. I love blue. I do. I love blue. I do. And you guys, oh my gosh. And I love little wooden pieces. I don't know why. I just, I, I do. But there is leaves and um, little um, uh, anchors. And, you, I mean, look at the little ships and all kinds of little things in here. Oh, look. I didn't know these... These are blue. Look how cute. Well, all the little ship wheels. Look at that. I was like, I think she's hinting at me to do some nautical or, you know, that kind of beachy um, video. And I need to. I haven't done one since I first started my channel. But, and then there was this. And I think that where it was thinner. And it came from Dollar Tree and it's so cute. I'm just going to glue it together and use it. But, um... I do that at times, but it broke, but look at that, how cute, oh, mine broke, I think it got smashed in between all that heavier stuff, but yeah, that's adorable, and that's from the Dollar Tree, you guys, I know, right, I promise I didn't break it, I took it out of the box, so I was like, oh, mine's broke, yeah, I think that's all it was, but and, you know, it's not like these delivery people are, and I'm not talking about them bad, so don't nobody come at me. I get people come at me all the time. But they're not exactly um, gentle, some of them, with this stuff. I've had this stuff thrown. I think they stand back in my driveway and just throw it at my house. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. And, oh, my goodness. Solarwood Flowers. 
I was like, she, Danny, you sent me all of them. These are gorgeous. I don't know what they are. If y'all know, let me know. Look at those. I love those. Those are like, looks like fire. They're so really cool. And look at this with this big old, oh, that's so cute. I don't think I have this one sitting in the middle. I, I look in the camera, you guys, so I can see. I won't show you all of them, but I can make sure I can. Not, I'm not showing stuff up at the ceiling. But these little carnations, how cute. Look at them. Yeah. Anyway, these are just all too adorable. Oh, and then I, there's a couple roses in there. Oh, yep. And we, you know, we use those this video. But then she sent me these. These are so pretty. Yeah, she uh, painted, or let me see, she dipped them. I know, because they're pretty. I love the color. I don't I don't know what she used, but look how cool that is. Huh. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that color. And I love blue. Well, like I said, you guys know, unless y'all know. Oh, look at that one, how pretty it looks. Look at that. I mean, I did it in paint before, um, but whew, it was, whew. oh, I like that one too. Anyway, it took them forever to dry. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous, Danny, Danny. Anyway, and she sent me, um, two mops. This is for my gnome beard, you guys. These are gnome beard. You know what? I've never used, I've never, I have one of these, and I've never used it for anything. But I think I have a cute idea. I know, right? It just sometimes takes me seeing it again. And don't look behind me. I know as soon as I say that, it's what y'all do. But, um, you guys, this, ugh, this woman, I tell you what, she, her and Rose Turner, must own more ribbon. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. Her and Rose Turner must own more ribbon than anybody. Well, I thought I did. I, Brenda's pretty bad, too. But look. Danny, why you giving me all your beautiful ribbon? And look at this. Oh, love it. Love it. I like that dark. That dark burlap. And oh, my gosh. Look at that. How pretty. Uh, what? And this, I love. There's two of them. Um, and first I was like, are they the same? But they're not. They're different. Look. Oh, look how pretty. I already made a bow with one. Anyway, I haven't used it yet. But, oh, look at this. I know. I know. And then this is so pretty. It is. Oh, and then look at this one. Oh, look at that. They're different. They're so pretty. You shouldn't have. You should not have. And then, there's this yarn. I love that gray. Look at that. I'm thinking bunny rabbit. And this is pretty brown. And then this will be my, um for my nautical video, I'll be doing for Danny because she's just been so very kind to me. She has sent me so much stuff, y'all. It just... And y'all, I, and I appreciate everything all of you all do. I, I mean, I really, really do. I tell everybody, strangers, they're like, we don't care. Well, I don't care that they don't care because I care. <laughs> I want them to know. <laughs> anyway, oh, and Danny, I didn't give that ribbon away to Brenda, which I know you don't care. She sends Brenda stuff, you know. But um, a for um. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a roll of that, and then right after that, you gave me a roll of it, and I was like, I don't need two rolls, so anyway, yeah, but here, you guys, and I first saw this, Brenda had this napkin, and I was like, oh, that's beautiful, and then Danny sent her a couple, and she said she'd send me one, and then Danny sent me some, anyway, look at that, how pretty, I know, I know you guys, she gets the best napkins, and then with all the other nautical, oh, you got to see these ones. But you guys, I spit on myself. <laughs> Doc, it's coming. This is so cute. It, look at that. It says joy, like for Christmas. But you can be joyful year round. So I thought I could use that this summer. Because I have joy, joy, joy. Anyway, and this one, oh my gosh. Look at that. With that silver around it. Oh, that's pretty. And that snow, oh my goodness. But of course, it does go with the joint, but I don't care. 
I think Danny loves blue too. Look at this one. Uh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Is that gorgeous or what? You guys. I know. And this one just be still my heart. I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I do. And then, oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. That is, that's beautiful. I just, I just love these. I do. And I just, again, I appreciate it. I know y'all's like, again, shut up with it. But I don't care if, if some people don't like me saying it. I, I, because... I, you guys, uh, listen, because of all these wonderful things you guys have sent me, and, um, I don't want to cry, and, um, the money that you guys have given me, I've been able to get rid of a lot of stuff that really wasn't worth doing anything with, and, um, being able to replace it with the wonderful things you all have sent or the things that I've bought because because you all have been so generous. But um, I just, I love you guys so very much. I do, and it means the world to me. And I'm so sorry my video is late, but um, I will be showing you my room when it's finished, and I'm, I'm excited about it. But um, I love you guys so very much, I know. And you guys have a blessed week, and hopefully... By the grace of God and, and, and Jesus doesn't come back, I'll see you all Sunday. Or, well, I don't know. I better not say that because I might be late again working on this room. This is going to take a t take some time. But hopefully not. I've been working for more now. Okay, I got to go. I love you. Ooh, talk, talk, talk. That's all I do. Bye.